What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's Chu here from Choose to Explore where I teach you guys how to see the world and save a dollar. So I've been running all around because tomorrow I head to Turks and Caicos and this trip is a little different than a lot of my other trips because we just saw a flight deal and I decided to go. So today I'll be making a video on how to save money on your trip to Turks and Caicos. So the only reason why I decided to go to Turks and Caicos is because I got a really good deal for $50 per person one way from New York to Turks and Caicos. But there's many ways that you can go about saving money on a flight. Also, by being subscribed to a bunch of different airlines, that's how you're able to find cheap flights and be notified for when there are cheap flights to go different places. My wife actually put together a list for the top nine apps that I use in order to find cheap flights. And you can find that linked in the description right here. So if you live in New York, or even close to New York, I would recommend checking JetBlue.com because they periodically have sales. And when they have the sales, that just means that it's the perfect time to buy a ticket. Now, if you don't live in New York, I would recommend getting a positioning flight from where you are to New York because usually New York has a lot cheaper flights for you guys to go. So after flights, the next big expense is accommodations. And let me tell you, Turks and Caicos is expensive. Did we say that enough? <laughs> So right now it's high season. I mean, it's New Year's, so everybody and their mother is here. I mean, literally, everybody <laughs> and our mother. <laughs> so all the stays are booked out, and the ones that aren't booked out are $900 a night minimum. And if you want to do like a two bedroom, whatever, it's over $2,000 a night. And honestly, that's not in our pockets. Maybe for you, but if you are watching this video, it probably ain't for you either. <laughs> So instead, we decided to book with a property that's about 10 minute drive away from Grace Bay and it's called the Pink Villas and it is an amazing accommodation. Personally, I think it gotta be better than a lot of the resorts and it's a, a fraction of the cost of what the resorts were. So $900 a night is not where we wanna be, but this place was way more affordable around $300 a night. And like I said, this is peak season. And even though we're not in a resort, it has almost all the amenities that a resort has. I mean, a fully stocked kitchen our own private bedroom, it has a couch, a TV, a heated pool, <laughs> it even has a gym and fitness area. And if you exit through the back door, we have an outdoor lounge patio area. So where we are is a one bedroom, but also on the property they have three bedrooms, um, they have another one bedroom, and they even have a tiny house. So. They got what you need. <laughs> I would highly recommend this place. So the next way to save is with food. So. Island life, especially in Turks and Caicos, is so expensive. A lot of times, the drivers, the people around us, we ask them, how do you guys afford to go to these restaurants? And they say, we don't. <laughs> they actually go to the grocery store and they cook because it's so expensive on the island. So, we're gonna take that tip and we're right here at the Graceway Smart, which is about a 20 minute walk from the airport. Now, food is gonna be one of your biggest expenses here on Turks and Caicos. And that's because everything is almost always imported at the island. So even though we were grocery shopping, it's still more expensive than back home. I mean, Arizona's, say 99 cents, but it's $1.70, <laughs> island tax. But we also made a food tour video where we included different prices and that are more budget friendly, or if you're just have, trying to have a good time and eat good food as well. So I'd highly recommend checking out that other video of our food tour here in Turks and Caicos where you can organize that by your budget as well. Next up is transportation. Now, Turks and Caicos is notorious for the expensive prices, but transportation, I mean, taxis are something that I've never seen before. <laughs> Literally, it's the rides are not per ride, they're per person. Right, so usually if we go on a group trip, we can split the ride, the cost of a taxi, but no, not here, the cost goes up per person. So. It's per seat. So, <laughs> so if it was myself, my wife, my mother-in-law, it's $75. Instead of $25, it's $25 per person. I don't know if the price goes up for gas. Like, I, I don't know how they go figure the per person fee, but this is crazy. Yeah. So what we did instead is we got a rental car. Yeah. Now, a rental car will save you so much money. We are here on New Year's, and we got this rental car for $42 a day. And we're here for three days. So literally, we paid $128 for the rental car. And that right there, the taxi there and back would have been more than that. So definitely transportation, get a rental car and save some money. Another way that you can save on transportation is if you are staying in Grace Bay, there's a lot of different resorts that have bikes included. So instead of paying $25 for a taxi on Grace Bay, you could just rent the bike 
and bike to everywhere you need to go. So I would definitely check if your hotel at Grace Bay has these included. So the next way to save money is even though the beaches are free access, renting a chair, renting an umbrella can be very expensive or can only be reserved for guests of the hotels that are on the beach. Instead, get a nice bucket hat, get a nice beach towel, and chill on the beach without it. So that's what I'm doing. Stay shaded, stay um, cool during these hot beach days. Another way to save money on activities is instead of going and trying to rent snorkels on the beach and looking at all the fish, bring your own. So I got this one right here. It's a full face snorkel. I got it on Amazon for around under $30. So I highly recommend it, especially if you want to see fish under the water and just to have some fun on the beach without that high cost price. So highly recommend it. It's linked in our description here. So another way that you can save money for your activities is by booking a package that has a lot of different things included. So we booked with Keiko's Dream Tour for our catamaran cruise and it's a half day cruise. So it had a ton of different activities where we went to a bunch of different islands which I'd highly recommend. It also included snorkeling, it had a slide, we jumped off the boat, we saw iguanas, and not just with activities, it also included food. So it had different sandwiches, it had rum punch, unlimited chips. It had a lot of different things in this package and I think it was about $114 per person. So even though I gave you guys a lot of different tips on how you can save during your time in Turks and Caicos, what I do want to mention is being a tourist here is tough because on every single activity, there's a tourist tax and there also is, I think an importation tax or something. All together in total, it's like 22%. So if you spend $100, you're spending $122 plus tips. So I just want you guys to comprehend that it is an expensive island. So while you will be saving, there's some things you just can't get around. But most importantly, I want you to enjoy your time in paradise in Turks and Caicos. So thank you guys so much for checking out our video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Truly appreciate you guys.